Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up now, Bateman. Let, let me tell you right now, you better not mess around in training camp and don't drop not one pass, especially two. Because if you do, I'm coming in to replace you. All they got to do is give me a call. We ain't even got to change the name on the back of the jersey. I'm going to still shine in your honor. But hey, don't mess around because they're going to have me at receiver. Anyway, YouTube. Team, keep it clean. Dog, we got so much to talk about. We got a lot to talk about in this short little segment. First off, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Ravens theme of the off season. David Sharp, who the Ravens signed yesterday, um, offensive lineman, offensive tackle. It's crazy because I remember, well, we remember, everybody remembers uh, the fact that so many people went down last year due to injury. So many people got hurt last year due to injury. It was kind of sad because with, with David Sharp, um, you saw this, this, this glimmer of hope. And it was like, hold up. Where does this guy come from? Who is he? Because he look good. He look good at tackle. But then I think he ended up getting hurt too. And it was like, man, why can't we have nothing nice in 2021? That was, that was Ravens, like, again, all year. Why can't we have nothing nice in 2021? It was literally the best roster that Mr. Eric DaCosta had put together in his tenor as GM. Um, and it was, we were, a lot of us was thinking, hold up now. We, uh, the Ravens might be something this year. They like really, really be something this year. And he had a lot of depth in a lot of places, but even he wasn't ready for what happened. Nobody was, and nobody could have prepared for that. But going into 2022, the Ravens, they know, they know, they know, they know. Offensive line is one of the biggest things that they needed to fix uh, going into this upcoming season. They still got some other things to fix too, but offensive line is very, very high on that priority list. So them signing David Sharp, who in a limited amount of time last year did look good, no problem with it from me. I actually thought that he was going to be somebody that they brought into trade. Like they would have not... Not because they're bringing him into training camp now, obviously, but I thought he was somebody that they would have been had on a roster. Like it wouldn't have took this long for them to to bring back David Sharp. But better late than never. Uh, Jameson Hins Hensley he listed uh, all the Ravens' offensive linemen, offensive tackles. Ronnie Stanley, and of course, hey, you get to hope that he's healthy. That's that's so much rides on that this year. Morgan Moses. Now with him. Um, older veteran, so he, he's been pretty healthy. Uh, so that's expected to be the right tackle. Jawan James, he's coming back from being healthy. I mean, from not being healthy, excuse me. So you hope that if the Ravens do keep him, that he's available. Uh, Daniel Falele, project offensive lineman. But once they get it down, like this could be like an Orlando Brown Jr. situation all over again. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. And you know what? As a matter of fact, in the other uh, offensive tackles, Jared Jones-Smith and, and Davis Sharp. And then he mentioned how Patrick McCary and Tyree Phillips, they can also play tackle, even though I know nobody wants, especially Tyree Phillips playing tackle. They want to make guard because that's where he um, really just thrived at. But speaking of Dale Falele and somebody who he's comparable to, uh, or hopefully the situation is comparable. And, and so what, he was, he's actually bigger then, which is crazy because Orlando Brown Jr. is a giant. Orlando Brown Jr. Um, there have been a lot of talk about Orlando Brown Jr., especially uh, once the franchise tag deadline passed. And I've been seeing a lot of Ravens fans get back to it because you know, you know how it goes. Like with a lot of Ravens fans, th there'll be a player on the team and they'll give the, the, the player all this praise and, hey, man, he's great. He was a steal. What a great player. Phenomenal guy. Oh, man, I love him. He's great. Player goes to a different team. Oh, I hate this guy. He sucks. He's not even all that. He was never even that good. He's trash. He's terrible. He's this. He's that. That's what happened with Orlando Brown Jr., 
uh, Orlando Brown Jr. Uh, he, and he knew, like, I don't know why so many people, especially a lot of Ravens fans, I don't know why so many people act surprised. Why do they act surprised? We knew from the moment they paid Ronnie Stanley, everybody, well, everybody should have known, that they were not going to pay Orlando Brown Jr. as well. Everybody knew that. I thought that that was a given. I thought it was a given. And he set himself up nice because he played right tackle for a while. Then Ronnie Stanley got hurt. Then he moved over to left tackle. He kept making all these Pro Bowls and stuff. And he said, I'm a left tackle. And I know he did say that it was in dedication to his father and it wasn't about the money. I mean, I felt like it was about the money. But I felt like from the jump, like there was nothing wrong with it being about the money. If it's about the money, okay, who cares? Why, why wouldn't it be? Let, let the man try to get paid. He should want to get paid. He's in the NFL, right? Like, ain't nothing wrong with that at all. So then um, what I was hoping that they were going to do, they didn't do it. And it, and it worked out. They did get some nice players from it, like a fair away and some others. But what I was hoping they were going to do was um, just keep him. Keep him. Let, let him ride his rookie, year, rookie deal out. And um, especially just in case anything happened to Ronnie Stanley, which it did again. Um, but keep him and have him at right tackle and have him ready just to replace Ronnie Stanley just in case. Uh, and then after that, franchise tag him and trade him. That's what I was hoping would happen. But it, it, it didn't happen. Um, they ended up trading him. And they, they technically got a first round pick back for him. Uh, but they gave up a second. So, I mean, again, technically you got a first round pick, but you gave up a second and I forgot whatever, what the other parts of the trade were. I know some little details in there and whatnot, some other draft picks and whatnot. But both teams came away from the trade uh, nice. Both teams knew what they were getting into. Both teams knew. It, he wasn't, no, nah, he wasn't the pick for J.K. Dobbins, I don't think. What was the, uh, what they used the pick that they, no, they gave up a second round pick. Yeah, they gave it up. And I think that ended up being like Creed Humphrey, something like that. Something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, um, with Orlando Brown Jr., uh, there had been a lot of talk about him uh, because the Chiefs apparently offered him a deal. And a lot of people were like, oh, man, he would have got such and such average per year, even though there was a big dummy year on the back end of the deal that the Chiefs weren't going to pay him. So the realistic average per year was a lot lower than what was originally presented to the public um so it the deal wasn't all that it was cracked up to be and there were reports coming out saying that the chiefs might have been unhappy with Orlando brown jr that oh this wasn't the guy that they thought that they were getting uh they thought that they were getting a, a team player blah 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 and it just seemed to me as if the the chiefs media were tra trying to paint a bad picture on Orlando brown jr and trying to sort of back him into a corner so he would accept less and it makes them look good as an organization hey look this is the deal that we offered orlando brown jr hey look public it looks great it looks wonderful when in reality it is not top of the market money and he will obviously want top of the market money especially the timing of his pen well not pending deal but up well, what could have been a deal uh, but now he'll have to wait until next year, play on the franchise tag. I don't think he may do a little temporary holdout, whatever, but he'll end up playing, uh, collecting this year's bread, um, accruing another season. And then next year, we'll see what happens. If they franchise tag him again, if they come to an agreement, we'll see. Um, but I ain't got no problem with Orlando Brown Jr. trying to get his money and trying to get top dollar money. So I just didn't understand why a lot of people did. Speaking of top dollar money, somebody who showed up to Ravens facility yesterday, who there was a um, lot, of, lot of hype, which I can completely understand because it is Lamar Jackson. Anything Lamar Jackson does, it is going to get a whole lot of hype. A lot of people a lot of people, like, oh, man, Lamar Jackson, he's showing up early. He ain't even got to be here right now. The players that were coming back from injury, they, they had to be there on Thursday. So he was not early. Adafi Away was there too. Um, so yeah, yesterday was the, the day for all the, 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 the players to come back from injury to show up. Uh, and vets, like rookies, showed up on Tuesday. Uh, I think injured guys showed up 
Um, is it injured guys and vets, or is it just injured? I think it's just injured guys. But vets got to show up over the next couple of days, and they all start practicing next week. You know how it goes. Um, but Lamar Jackson, there has also been a lot of conversation, especially since Kyler Murray, he just got his deal, which awesome. Go Kyler Murray. Happy for him. Love it. Um, but there's been a lot of conversation amongst people, uh, especially a lot of Ravens fans, on if, not only if Lamar Jackson should get paid, because that, that's been one conversation. And I, uh, we got a question from subscriber coming up over the next couple of days uh, where there was a Ravens fan that actually agreed with, um, with something that Emmanuel Acho said about maybe the Ravens holding off on paying Lamar Jackson. But we'll talk about that uh, in that video. Um, well, we talked about it in the video. The video's already done, but y'all see it over the next couple of days. But anyway, um, there has been a lot of discussion on if or on if and when, because it's both right now, because it's not necessarily just when, it's if and when the Ravens pay Lamar Jackson if he should get top dollar. And with that, um, y'all know my answer. Yes. Yes, he should. But there have been a lot of Ravens fans that feel like Lamar Jackson should take less. Every time I see that, um, I do throw up just a little bit. Then my stomach starts bubbling because it makes me really sick. It does. And uh, the reason I say that, um, because why should, uh, why should he take less? What incentive does he have in taking less money from the Baltimore Ravens on his second contract? And in his first second contract, I mean, there can only be one second contract, but this will be right now. And hopefully this is this won't be the uh, the highest contract of his career, because if he continues to do his thing, then he can top this contract in three, four, five years, whatever. But right now, this will be the most money that he is going to get paid. He's had sponsorship deals. He had the this and that. And he's obviously got his rookie contract. But this is going to blow all of that out the water. Why would he take less money? For what? If he takes less money now, then he sets himself up to always take be not only take less money but be offered less money in the future. And if like people I feel like people think NFL is just like this nice friendly business. Everybody's all happy go lucky. Hey, we love you. We love you. We love you. We happy with you. We do it. No. These teams, organizations, agents, GMs, they are trying to take advantage of each and every player. They may love the players and whatnot. They may respect the players, but in in this business they are trying to save as much money as they possibly can. They're trying to cut as many corners as they possibly can. So why should he take less money? That would be setting himself up for not even necessarily failure because he would still get paid a significant amount of money even if he took less. But that, was, that wouldn't put him in the best position possible when it came to his bread. It really wouldn't. And why should he take less money? Because I know some people have presented it like, hey, if he takes less money, then the Ravens can do a better job of building around him. When he was making way less money, how did the Ravens really build around him then? Tell me, how did the Ravens really build around him then? No, he should not take less money. No. If Lamar gets paid, he gets paid top dollar. The Ravens can still find ways to build around him. They can still find ways to build this roster. He is not the GM. He is a player that's in business. While he is a team player, he is also in business for himself. When he gets his checks every week, they do not say Lamar Jackson and the entire Ravens team. They do not say Lamar Jackson and every other quarterback on the roster, Lamar Jackson and all the running backs, the wide receivers, the tight ends, the offensive line, defensive line, cornerbacks, linebackers, safety. Uh, they don't say that. They say Lamar Jackson. And that's it. So he should not take less money just because fans are thinking as fans and not in a business mindset. 
Hey, hey, hey ain't nothing wrong with thinking that way because we, we all fans. But we got to understand the other side of this thing. You got to. Should, should you take less money at your job? Huh? Like, put yourself in, in his shoes. Should, would you take less money at your job? No, you wouldn't want you would if you had the opportunity to get the biggest raise that you ever got, would you be like, oh, you know what? No, no, no. And I know I, I love when people they hear me ask that question, they want to get all technical. Well, it depends on this, it depends on this, it depends on this, it depends on this. Well, if you think about that, oh, but if you no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. So why should he?